So this is a new 6x9 from, from us. We've actually worked on this for almost a year. Uh, it's been a big issue because the problem is it needs to be uh, water resistant and it needs to sound good. So one of the things we did is we built a special custom surround so it has way more X-Max than anybody else. So what happens is when you have more X-Max, meaning linear travel, it can make more bass. So we use a really large magnet, not that a really large magnet means a whole lot, but the magnet is large because it has such a big voice coil. So this is using a one and a half inch voice coil, which is vented. It's vented and it's vented through the voice coil itself. So when the speaker is moving, it cools the voice coil. Because when people blow up speakers, nobody's blowing speakers up. You're not seeing them launch out of the speaker. What happens is they're melting the voice coil or the glues because the voice coil is really small copper wire annealed, meaning it's covered with a varnish or a glue. And when it's heated up by AC voltage amplifiers, the glue melts. So what happens is people burn up speakers from putting too much AC voltage for too long a time. So we go to bigger and bigger voice coils to solve heating problems. So now this speaker is very high power handling. We even only we only rate it at 125, but we recommend 250 watts on it or more. It's better to have too much power than too little power because the you will clip the amplifier less. It's much better to have high power turned down than not enough power in clipping it. So a really cool cone, water resistant, uh, very high power. Uh, for motorcycle with big power, this is cool. This is coming in a four ohm version and a two ohm version because in the microamps, we make a micro two V2 that is 150 watts four ohm, but it's 225, 250 into two ohm. So you can put 250 watts into this with a very small amplifier. So it makes it really handy for a lot of motorcycle guys or car guys, whoever wants to use it. We're easy.